Hey, it's Scott. In this video, I wanted to go over how website hosting works. It can get a little bit confusing when you have your domain registered in one place and you want your hosting to be in another place. So I'm going to talk about that, how to get it all working, and um, hopefully explain it so you can get up and running nice and easy. The first part of a website is your actual domain name, so www.presscoders.com. And what you need to do is register that domain with a place like GoDaddy or DreamHost or any number of other hosts. They will actually register the domain for you, and um, you need, you pay a fee of you know say ten bucks a year for that. And that basically just reserves your domain name for you to use in the future with a website. But it's not a website in and of itself. You need another part, and that other part is hosting. And hosting is basically just a home for your website. It's a place where you can put your files, um, where you have your email, and it's a server somewhere else that basically serves up your files when visitors come to your website. So there's two parts, your regi domain registration and your hosting, and those are two separate things. Now, most companies do both, and so you can go get your domain registered and your hosting all in the same place. It makes it nice and easy. But the tricky part comes in when you want to register your domain in one place and you want to get your hosting in another place. So what you have to do when that happens is you have to tell your website registrar where your hosting is. So you basically have to link up your domain registration and your hosting so that they can talk to each other and know where each other's at. And the way you do that is with DNS. DNS is domain name server, which is basically just saying where the hosting is for your website so that your domain can communicate with it. And at your website registrar, you can go into your domain settings and you can actually change your DNS. And so they'll have a default DNS there for you. And if you are using a different host, you can go in and actually change them to something like they, they usually look like I have here for ns1.dreamhost.com, ns2.dreamhost.com. Um, there's usually up to four you can set and um, you really only need to set the first two or three. Um, sometimes I only do two, that's why I have two here. But um, you can talk to your, uh, your website host about that. But basically you would change your DNS to these new settings that you got from your host. So just let me go over that again. You get your DNS from your website host and then you go to your website registrar and change your DNS for your domain. So that's basically saying, telling your domain where the hosting is. And that way the two can communicate with each other and your website will be up and running in no time. And it, it t usually takes um, a few hours for the DNS to propagate across the web and to actually show up on everyone's computers, but it shouldn't take you know more than a day or two at, at most. So. That is domain hosting and registration, and I will see you in the next video.